The following program is brought to you by Hollywood Connection Center, a network for entertainment industry professionals. Take one, and you want me to just direct it yeah, to you? My name is Ben Booker, and I am a local 600 digital imaging technician. What made me pursue the film industry? Uh, I would say about 20 years ago, a film came into my hometown, which is San Luis Obispo, California, and they were looking for PAs to help out on set, and I decided to go out and lend a hand, and they threw me in with the props department as an assistant prop master, and after working on that for 18 days, I believe it was, uh, I kind of got the bug and decided to pursue the industry and went to film school. I went to the Academy of Art University in San Francisco and I got my Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in motion picture and television production and graduated in 2006, came straight down to Los Angeles and been here ever since. Well, of course, first starting out, you always start on the low budget indie films and uh, I think the very first film I worked on was called Pear Blossom, which has probably changed titles about six times since then. Uh, I'm not sure what it's called now, but uh, it was crazy shoot out in the desert, three weeks, all-nighters about vampires and stuff. Uh, since then, I have joined the union, and I'm now a digital imaging technician, and I work in television, and I've worked on shows from HBO's Togetherness to MTV's Faking It, uh, and I'm getting ready to start a show for True TV called Adam Ruins Everything. My current views on Hollywood uh, right now, you know, it couldn't be any busier, you know, from back in 2008 when there was the actor strike and the writer strike and the town was just dead. Uh, right now it's just booming and it's pretty, pretty hard to find somebody that's not employed right now. <laughs> I started out as a uh, DIT, digital imaging technician, uh, doing commercials, and I wasn't in the union, but at the time, there wasn't enough union DITs, so they weren't necessarily checking your status when you get hired, and uh, so I was able to slide onto these union commercials, and I got my days that way, and through the camera department, it's kind of hard to get in the union, you know, you have to have 100 non-union days or 30 union days. And uh, I happened to get my 30 union days by doing these commercials. And about a year after doing these commercials, I received a certified letter from the union saying that uh, I had to pay them $8,400 to join the union. And, uh, you know, so that's how I got into the union. So I was happy. You know, but at the same time, I wasn't ready to cough up 8,400 bucks. But uh, it was it was definitely rewarding. And shortly after, you know, I had started doing the TV shows and was able to get my hours to get my health care. And Some rewarding moments I had in this industry, I would say you get to travel a lot, uh, see different cities throughout the world and United States. Um, you meet great people, you know, you get to, every day is different, you know, unless you're shooting on a stage, it's always the same thing, but uh, you're working with different people, different locations all the time. Tips to be successful in Hollywood, I would say, is uh, be eager and willing to learn and, you know, 
dealing with people that have been in the, the industry for a long time, there's a chain of command, you know, and there's a rank, and you never want to cross that line or, you know, overstep it. Uh, but definitely, you know, you can either, as far as getting into the industry, you can go to film school or you can become a PA and work your way up. PA route is a lot cheaper. <laughs> it may take a little bit longer, but you will meet a lot of great people along the way and you will learn several different trades. You know, you'll bounce from camera department to props department to art department to, you know, whatever you feel like doing and you'll learn all those trades and then you'll find one that you like and you'll start pursuing that. Um, but the number one thing in Hollywood I would have to say is building a strong network and it's all about who you know, not necessarily what you know all the time. Uh, what you know is definitely good, you know, it'll take you places, but meeting the right people and, you know, going in the right direction is key, you know. So I think that is a uh, network very important. Some people aren't sure if they want to join the union and go the non-union route or the union route. I decided to go the union route because one, I have a family and health care is very important and uh, retirement as far as pension and that sort of thing. Uh, is all, you also have the union backing you and helping you, everybody that's on set not get screwed over by production or, you know, making you do something unsafe or, you know, whatever. Uh, the union is there to protect us. And, you know, I've worked plenty of non-union jobs where I was making, you know, $100 a day, less than minimum wage, you know, but I needed to pay my bills, so I would take the jobs. Um, it's it just depends on what where you're at and where you want to go you know I still have friends that are doing non-union jobs and we went to film school together ten years later and they're still doing the non-union stuff because they prefer to do it you know they're still making decent rates but they just don't want to deal with the politics and all that stuff you know but uh, the union for me is great. My advice to anybody that wants to join the film industry uh, would be don't give up. It may take a while, several years, you know, you may be doing those low budget indie things for a while but you'll eventually catch a break and you will move up but I don't recommend being lazy like the go-getters are the ones that are gonna make it because uh, there's always gonna be somebody that's more willing and eager right behind you that will take that job <laughs>